just six days away, the first official day of summer, at least here in the States and a lot of parts of the world. But my question to you is, are those biceps going to be ready to show off in those short sleeve shirts? Let's see, let's try to get you there, starting with today's workout. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Here we are, as I mentioned in the open, a bicep workout. Now, I know you guys have asked me for a while, let's see another straight you know, arm workout, something that we can use. Well, I figure what better time than now to get you ready for that warm weather because, again, here in the States on the 21st, the first official day of summer, so you're going to have to have those short sleeve shirts and you're going to have to look good in them. What I want to do, though, is get you started the right way with Athlete X training. When I say that, guys, I don't just say we're going to start working out. I say training because I want to train you with a purpose. I want to give you exercises, progressively take you from where you start to where you should be better to where you should be the best. And that's what this is all about, progressing you and also doing it in a way that makes sense, adding some science behind what we do. And I want to see by the end of this video if you agree that we've taken you through and progressively shown you a way to train, thumb it up and tell me that you have. Because what I want you to see is this is what happens when you apply some science to your, to your training and don't just do concentration curls and, uh, and preacher curls and everything else that you read in the magazines all the time or that you just see over and over and over again. We start off our workout here today with 21 curls. Now, you probably said I've done 21s before, I know what they are. Not this way. This 21 is we're going to take advantage of the different ranges of motion inside of an actual contraction. So we're going to have our peak contraction, we're going to have our stretch position, and we're going to have our mid-range position. We're going to combine them all into one set. So we're going to start here up on a bench, sitting up with our incline bench already set up for us. We're going to do a regular mid-range curl, meaning that most of the tension on the muscle is occurring in the mid-range of that curl. So we know that this is peak tension here, so the bicep is working hardest in the middle of that curl. Okay, we're going to do seven of those. Then when we want to go to a stretch position, get a little bit more blood flow in there, and also take advantage of the stretch reflex, all we have to do is lean back into the already set up incline curl and then curl up from here. So now we've got the stretch reflex of the bottom, okay, a little bit of a straight little bounce off the bottom to take advantage of that. And now the peak, the peak contraction is down here overcoming that stretch. That's why we just shifted from that mid-range down to the contracted, to the stretch. The last thing I want to do is the contracted, and all we have to do is now face inward on the incline bench, put our feet back, hang our arms down in front of us. It's a modified fielder curl position for those guys that have athletics already. And what we're going to do is curl straight up. Now, it's not that hard down here. It's the hardest at the very top here, which is the peak contracted position of the bicep. So again, down and then all the way up, down, all the way up, down, all the way up. Again, you're going seven reps. Okay, so you go three sets of the uh, peak contracted, mid range contracted, stretch thing, all in one set, the 21 curl. Now I take you over here to our regular straight bar. Now, one thing you'll notice, guys, there's not a lot of options when it comes to bicep training in terms of the overall movement. The movement is going to probably be some variation of a curl because the movement at that joint is either going to be flexion of the elbow, the supination of the wrist, we talked about this before, or a little bit of a flexion up of the shoulder. So it's always going to sort of look like a variation of curl, but what we do with the curl is what makes the most difference when it comes to building muscle. So here I have a straight bar set up. What's interesting is two things I want to point out. One, I have a 25 pounder on this side, the other, I have 15 pounds over here. So we call these the scales of justice curls. I have two scales, I have to slow them down and move them at the same speed. What that forces me to do is put some mind into the muscle, put some brain into the biceps and make sure that I can contract this thing at a pace under my control so that I'm forcing myself 
to have a realization of what I'm trying to do. And here, I think that's one of the missing links for people. They don't curl with the muscle, they just move away from point A to point B and actually let everything else get involved. So, what we do is set it up. Again, I got my heavier side on the right. Doesn't matter to me because I have to make sure I curl this thing up at the same pace and down and level. And what I purposely do, if you'll notice the second thing I was going to point out, is that there's no collars on the end of this bar. I don't use collars because I want to force myself to move this weight the right way. If it's wrong, the weights are going to fall out, and you're going to know that you're doing it wrong. If I have collars on there, I have no way of knowing. Okay, so you got to move your weight evenly, do your curls, three sets of your scales of justice curl. Next, move on to another variation from an exercise we've done in the past, the no money curl. Now, what's the advantage of the no money curl? We can do straight barbell or dumbbell curls, and that's okay. But the no money curl gets our biceps to work in concert with our rotator cuffs to externally rotate the shoulders. Guys that work out for a long time are likely to have internally rotated shoulders, rounded, you watch me from the side, I look like this. We have a, a few opportunities outside of direct rotator cuff work to help correct that imbalance. This is one of them, and now we're going to make it a no money chin up. So all I have to do is position myself in the middle of the bar, put my hands to the outside, put my hands to the outside, so now my elbows are basically in, and I've externally rotated up at the shoulder. Here and here, wide, bring the elbows in, and curl up. Now for those guys looking to do this for the aesthetics of it, the wider your hands, the more narrow your elbows, the more of the inner part of the bicep you're going to work, and vice versa. Hands in, elbows out, you're working more outside the bicep, hands out, elbows in, you're going to work more of the underside of the uh, bicep, the more inside part. Three sets of those, you can take them all in failure. Last, we always finish exercises with an athlete next, when we can, with burnout variations. Now what burnouts do, is they take muscles that are predominantly trained for fast twitch in that 6 to 12 rep range, and we force them to go a little bit more for muscle endurance. And what that does is it usually gets them to respond because A, it's a new stimulus for that muscle, and B, it sort of helps to bring even more blood to the area at the end. I've been doing this since I was a little kid, and I feel like it has contributed definitely, along with eating correctly, to good you know, vascularity, muscle definition, the whole thing. So what we do here is a tubing burnout curl. I want to go for about 50 of these things. Shoulders are back, and we just rep them out. And again, what I'm doing here is I'm going for as many reps as I can get until I just can't move this uh, tubing even an inch. I don't know how many I'm at at this point, but I can tell you that my shoulders and biceps are ready to pop. And this once easy band is now much more difficult to move. And when you think you can't get any more, you gotta go for five more. And that's a tubing burnout curl. And again, it's a much different experience than any of the other exercises because you're used to using a lot of weight, heavier weight that limits you to a much lower rep range. Guys, what do they say? Sun's out, guns out, any of those corny phrases. The point here is, whatever your motivation is, you have to train, but you got to train effectively. You got to put a little bit of science behind what you do. Because if you're not, then you're just working out. And like I said, training is a whole different thing. Training is working out with a purpose, and that's what Athlean X is all about. Don't limit yourself to just your bicep, guys. Get everything looking right in time for summer by coming over to athleanx.com, grabbing the Athlean X training system, get in on the, the, the workout that's changing guys' physiques across the world, getting athletes in the best shape of their lives, and taking current pro athletes to all new levels. Come over to athleanx.com, grab your training program. I'll see you back here again next week. Until then, get this bicep working for you, and I'll see you in seven days. It will be summer by then. See you then. It's cool, young Reese.